As you create your packages for each of the tasks in your area, the revision history has been automatically created. And you can see that at any point in time by coming down here to any task at all, hit the right button, go to the package and just select revision log. And I picked the stack parts task here and it's showing me my revision history for the stack parts. You can see I'm still on version one here. But there's options down here you can see. You can see all stations and it shows you everything. So here, here would be all your stations. So here's the mold parts and the stack parts. Those are the two I've done so far. I can also see all stations latest revision. Now in this case it's all version 1. You can go to the actual Excel sheet for anyone you see here just by double clicking on a line and it will open up the package for that particular revision right here for free to browse here. So you can just double click on it. It's an easy way to navigate around between the different packages that you might have here as well. And the other thing you can do, obviously, you can pick a particular station. I've only got two as I work through this section here. We'll be adding more. So you can just click between the different stations that you want to look at the revision history for here. So just use this here. Uh, typically, the, uh, the revision history is sorted by descending. In other words, the most recent updates will appear at the top. But you can change that here as well. And you can also send the results out to Excel. So whatever is displayed here, you can send out to Excel just by clicking results to Excel and give it a couple of seconds and that information will be dumped out there so you can use that for a separate reference as well showing you everything that's happened either to the entire process or to just the particular task that you picked here.